Hello YouTube, welcome to another video on this channel. Let's get started. Uh, here I have this for graphical user interface. Okay, let's just change this a little bit. I'm gonna add a wallpaper. Uh, you can search uh, for wallpapers on the internet. I just uh, found one that I usually use. But let's uh, get started. I'm gonna add this by clicking here. I'm gonna just lo uh, add a local resource. Click import. I'm gonna come here in pictures, wallpapers, and I'm gonna add this image. Okay. I'm gonna change the property to zoom. No, that's not good. Uh, stretch. Okay, that's better. Let's just change this uh, form a little bit. Let's try to find a size. That is okay. I think that's that's good. Let's just uh, change this a little bit here. Okay. Let's see. Seems good. Are they aligned? Let me see. Okay. They are now. Okay, that's good. So this is our GraphQL user interface. Okay. Uh, let's run this. Uh, just to see how it's gonna work. But it's a simple GraphQL user interface anyway. I'm just gonna focus more on comments and that stuff. Because as I said before, we have a lot of work to do. Hello? What time is it? 6.40 a.m. Hello? What day is it? October 9th, 2017. Okay, great. Uh, now we are going to add a shadow bot, okay? I'm gonna, we're, let's uh, close this. We're going to add a type of shadow bot which is uh, uh, based on AI ML, okay? okay? Let's add a library uh, to work with uh, this kind of, this type of files. Let me just come here on projects, libs, uh, libs, uh, that's the DL file. Okay, this is the shutterbot I and mean, I have to let me just grab some files to uh, work with, okay? Uh, we need to work with some files. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at the documentation of this chatbot. And we're going to copy some files okay I'm gonna open uh, the folder of this project which are which is right here okay so I'm gonna copy uh, the files okay okay I'm gonna copy the files actually I'm gonna move and these are the a these are the a i m l files Let's just open up some of these files, like geography. Let's see what do we have in these files. This is very old. This is a very old technique to AI. Okay, this I, I think it's dated from the sixties. Okay, so if you say something like, "What is a mystery?" Then it's gonna respond to some some things they are defined. It's not a generative model. It's like just a, I don't know, it's very basic, it's based on rows, okay? So anyway, we have these files, let's just add, uh, let's get started with the code, okay? I'm just gonna look at uh, here on my other monitor, okay? So let's add this. Uh, let's uh, uh, import the namespace in a bot, okay? Let's create a bot right here. 
I'm gonna click right here private bot is going to be bot and private user user so we need these two objects in order to work with this lab okay so I'm gonna load this in, in this uh, load speed load load speech methods okay let's instantiate the bot bot is going to be for new bot let's uh, define as not accepting uh, inputs Let, uh, and now we're going to load settings okay let's load the settings uh, okay let's create a user let's instantiate the user and create uh, the user I'm gonna I'm, my name is Peter Pedro okay and we pass another argument which is the bot let's add the bot go like AML from files okay and now the bot is accepting inputs so now we can process uh, this okay uh, okay, so this is pretty much uh, what we need, but actually we need to create a method to process uh, the data. Let's create a method right here. Private string catch res response. Okay. Response is string input. We need to create a object request. Request request going to be equal new request input the user and the bot okay and you're going to create a result result object is going to be the result which is going to be bot dot chat request okay request and we're going to return the output result dot output okay okay great we have this method and in, in this default which is going to be anything that we say that is not in the k in the cmds okay let's just assign user is going to be equal response get response actually speech speech okay great we have now added the the shadow bot into this project. Uh, you can download this uh, project from the my GitHub, which is in the description down below. So you can check that out. Okay, let's run and see if we don't get any errors. Okay, it's going to take a while to load right now because it's getting a little complex. Hello. Perhaps I'm just expressing my own concern about it. How are you? Can you ask for help in the form of a question? I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you? I'm great. What makes you think you are? I don't know. Do you often use a computer there? Yes. How much time do you spend online? Pretty much all the day. Just three? What? No problem. Uh, how are you? I did not know that. Hey. What you said was too complicated for me. Why? What do you have that is white? I don't know. I will mention that to my unknown, unnamed user. Uh, so, what is your favorite movie? I can't say yes or no. What are what is your favorite movie? Interesting gossip. What? No problem. Uh what do you know? I know that which is true, believable, and justified. California. I do not understand. United States. I have heard of the United States before. When? The past and future are one. What are you talking about? It refers to California, I think. What? Are you confused?
Yes. What are you confused about? How you are so intelligent. It is a ritual I do the same way every time. Oh my gosh. How many do you have? Men what? Are you a man or a woman? I'm a man. Thanks for telling me your gender, unnamed user. Okay. You are a he. Give me a break. <laughs> okay. Is that among the best things you can say? Uh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let me see. As you can see, this works very good. <laughs> Don't you think? Uh, oh, I'm a little bit surprised of how this works very well. Uh, okay, so this was, I think, let me just uh, give some disclaimers. I'm gonna look how uh, I'm gonna look how much time do we have left. Okay, so this is the the chat bot that we have now. This project, of course, we can search for more. AI ML files and implement. I'm not going to do that because it's going to be uh, it's going to become more uh, slow. Okay, so with this amount of files, it works very fast. Okay, so uh, I think that's great. Okay, so now we have the this awesome chatbot, and this phase one is finished by now. Okay, we're going to enter in a new phase which I'm gonna call phase 2 when we're gonna add some more advanced commands okay so I hope you like this video and see you later or in the next videos